Well, at the Missouri State Capitol has some lawmakers trying to change what interns wear. KCTV 5's Amy Anderson tells us about the divisive idea that has some outraged. It's new at 6. Does it matter what an intern wears? Some Missouri lawmakers say you bet it does. And as you might imagine, that's causing some controversy. Modesty is always the best policy. Representative Nick King of Liberty siding with a fellow lawmaker who says a dress code for interns may help curb some of that sexual harassment happening at the Capitol. Having a modest dress code, something that is going to eliminate um, any temptations to look further or harder on either, either way, male to female, female to male, just makes a lot of sense. King says while the young women at the center of the recent scandals in Jeff City aren't necessarily to blame, he believes what they wear matters. There are times when I pers purposely uh, look away from certain circumstances. I, I'm not, I don't think we need any of that. For one of those former interns, the mere suggestion that what she wore may have brought on anything inappropriate is an insult. To insinuate that the way that we're dressed impacts their ability to police themselves and that they don't have that inner strength to behave themselves. Hearth claims former uh, Senator Paul Lavoda, who just resigned that. after another texting scandal, sexually harassed her back in 2010. She kept copies of their text messages and says what the House needs most is ethics reform for their own. It leaves me speechless that they're trying to push the blame on us, that they're trying to put when we're already in a position where we don't have power in this situation. Representative Jeremy LaFavor agrees. If uh, somebody's attire or the sight of a bare knee is too distracting for somebody to do their legislative work, they should probably look for a different line of work. The final draft of recommendations is expected to be released sometime in mid-September. In Kansas City, Missouri, Amy Anderson, KCTV5 News. U.S. Senator Claire McCaskill is weighing in, sending a letter to lawmakers who support this dress code. She sent the following letter to Representative Bill Kidd of Independence, uh, and similar one also to Representative Nick King. Is your recommendation meant to suggest that if an intern wears suggestive clothing, she or he will share partial responsibility for any potential sexual harassment or assault? I ask that you clarify or withdraw your suggestion of a dress code for interns. What do you think of the dress code proposal? Stay social with us and share your opinion on our Facebook page or on Twitter or Instagram. Well, today, voters.